and welcome to Michelle's videos. So today I'm going to look at solving equations. Now the first thing I'm going to do is do one that you wouldn't see, okay? But this is just to explain to you about opposites, okay? And then I'll show you one that you might see on a GCSE question. I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's go. Let me share my screen with you. OK, so. Solving. Equations. So one of the golden rules of solving equations is to do the opposite of what it's. Sort of saying, OK, so this is one that you won't see on. Um, a GCSE question, but I'm going to lay it out so you can see how to work it out. So we could have 6a plus 4 divided by uh, divided by 8 times by 2 minus 1 equals 3. So you wouldn't see it in this layout, OK? Um, and I'll show you one after this how you would see it. So what we do is, <coughs> excuse me, we start from here. Now, if you don't know, 6a is therefore 6 times a, OK? Always. A number next to a letter means to times. There's like a times in there, OK? So if you're unsure about that, look at the previous video on algebra rules. So we've got divide by 6, opposite, that at the moment is times by 6, OK? Opposite. Opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. Opposite of divide 8 is times by 8. Opposite of times 2 is divide by 2. Opposite of minus 1 is plus 1. And then we start from the three. So we've ended. OK, and now we just do what it's asking us. Three plus one. Is four. Four divided by two is two. Two times eight is sixteen. Sixteen minus four is twelve. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and we've finished. So that means A equals 2. It's the opposite. OK, I bubble it to make it neat. It keeps that in order, that in order, that in order. OK, and obviously that in order and that in order. OK, I hope that makes sense. I'll do one that you might see. On a GCSE, GCSE paper, a nice easy one. You've probably already seen it. 6W. Uh, plus 2 equals 20. Find the value of W. So opposite minus six. Opposite of plus two is minus two. Sorry, divide by six. Yeah. And we're at the end. 20 minus two is 18. 18 divided by six is three. We're at the end. So W equals three. OK. 
Now, another one that you might see is slightly different. OK, so we're looking at what you might see. Remember, the first one I did was just to show you how to do it opposite. So what you might see is something like 2y by 5 times by 4 minus 3 plus 2 equals 15. I don't even think you'd see this. It's, yeah, it's too long. However, what we do is we work out what's happening to y. So let me do this in blue. So 2y is being divided by 5. It's been times by four, it's been minus three, and it's been plus by two, which equals 15. So now this looks like what we're used to in a line, okay? So let's do our opposites. Divide, uh, times by two is divide by two. Divide by five is times by five bubble it, keep it neat, times by 4 is divide by 4, minus 3 is plus 3, plus 2 is divide by 2, and we're at the end, so 15, oh sorry, minus, 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 oh let me rub that out, sorry, my fault, minus 2, so 15 minus 2 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. So therefore, y, y equals 10. <clears throat> and we can check that by substitution times, remember. So 2 times 10 is 20, divided by 5 is 10. Oh, two, yeah, divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16, minus 3 is 13, plus 2 is 15, and yes. Okay. Um... It's unlikely it would be that long, to be fair. Um, one that I've seen recently was all about the opposite, all about the opposite. One that I saw was quite simply 2y divided by 5 um, equals 4. So lay it out how we like to see it, 2y is being divided, remember your fraction facts, being divided by 5, and that equals 4. Opposite, divide by 2, bubble, and divide five, 5 is times by 5. We're at the end, 4 times by 5, 4 times by 5 is 20, and 20 divided by 2 is 10, and therefore y equals 10. So it's opposite. Okay, opposite. Now let's have a look at a GCSE paper. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's go into Google to agree that and let's put in um, do, 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 solving equations um, edx okay um, let's click on that there we go right so here's a nice worksheet that you could 
put into Google and have a go at yourself. So look at these. Look at these three first. We've got 2y equals 8, nice and easy. t minus 4 equals 7. And we've got x by 4 equals 3. OK, so let's have a go at them, shall we? So, rub that out. Right, let's see what we've got. We've got 2y equals 8. Could not be easier. Opposite of 2y is divide by 2. And we're right at the end straight away. 8 divided by 2 is 4. y equals 4. Nice and easy. OK, let's try the other one. What did we have? We have t minus 4 equals 7. Hmm. What do we do here? Because we've just got T. Yeah, we've just got a T. Well, let's not worry about it. It is a divide. Because you've got, remember, T means one T. So we've got one divide by one. And we've got plus four. OK, because the opposite of that is plus four, so, and then we're at the end, seven plus four is 11, divided by one equals 11. It's just the same, isn't it? It's just the same. 11 divided by one is 11. So T equals, T equals 11, okay? And then our next one, let's have a look at it. Oh, what we got, we got. Oh, x4 equals 3. Well, lay it out how we like to see it. x, this is divide, divide by 4. Oh, divide by 4 equals three so again this is just one one x it's just one x so let's divide by one and times by four we're at the end okay so three times by four is 12 12 divided by one is 12 so x equals 12. Now on that worksheet, if I can just come back to here to it, on that worksheet it does get a little bit harder where we've got, I'm sure it's on here, some brackets yeah we've got some brackets we've got some double linear okay equations both sides um and i will be doing a video on both of these after this video okay so i'll show you how to work out a bracket and then solve it yeah and then i'll show you how to do where you've got equations both sides. So if you want to do the ones that you can do, that's absolutely fine. Um, <clears throat> and then what you could do is go back to that worksheet. OK, and we can have a look at it in class or you can send to me via Teams once Teams are set up. OK, I hope that helps. All right. But remember, opposite, opposite opposite okay um i'm gonna do that in a minute 
Okay, take care. Bye.